For my name is Ketukre Yasha. Uh, I have secured the third position in the recently conducted HSSLC examination uh, with a ranking of 93.2%. Uh, and uh, I'm from Bethel Higher Secondary School. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank God for helping me throughout my exam, for giving me good health and strength in everything. And secondly, my parents, my teachers, and my well wishers who consistently encourage me in everything, in every part of my life. For me, I feel like my study life it became actually pretty much easier because what, what I did was I mostly learned almost everything inside the classroom. So while studying, it became pretty easier. It, it was like a revision because uh, most, most of it I, I learned from inside the classroom what the teachers teach us. So I, there, there will be one advice I will give to my juniors and uh, who are uh, appearing, who will be appearing for HSLC in the coming, in coming days or any kind of examination that concentration inside the classroom is important because when you listen, when you understand what the teachers explain while well, studying, it becomes pretty much easier. And uh, also at this generation, what, what we all use, what we all are addicted to, the, the worst thing about our generation is we all are so addicted to te technology. So what I feel is as a student, our study should be our first priority. We should know how to recognize, recognize what is our distractions and also deal with each and every distractions. Uh, we need to realize how to, like even the smallest distraction can uh, affect our studies. So we should have the ability to recognize all, our, uh, all those distractions from biggest to the smallest distraction and deal with each and every uh, distraction properly. And also to build our interest in study and believe in yourself, that is the biggest thing. If you don't believe in yourself, even others cannot believe. So first of all, believe in yourself that you can do it. Nothing is impossible as long as you try and work hard and uh, give your best in everything you do uh, and never give up. There are a lot of failures we will face in our life, but even through all those failures, overcoming with all those failures, with courage, I think that would be the best because when we come out of the failures, uh, we overcome our failures. We come out with uh, we come out like with greater cor greater courage and a better person. And for me, what I feel is I usually don't maintain a timetable. Actually, uh, what I feel is if we know how, if we know if we have the mentality and realize that when we whenever we do anything, if we know that we are overdoing something, if we know how to limit ourselves in everything we do, that okay, I'm doing this for so long. I need to study now. If we have that mentality, for me, I feel the timetable is not necessary. If we have that mentally, then that we need to study, study is our priority. If we know that, then there is no need for timetable as long as we know how to limit in everything, whatever kind of things, and, and, and try to avoid ourselves from overdoing uh, those things. That can, that can be a wastage for us. And yes, during the normal days, I usually study two to three hours, and during my exam time, it uh, extends to six to seven hours. So. Um, and then during the normal days, so when I study 2-3 hours, what I do is I usually set a particular target like within 30 minutes I try to finish up some number of questions which I've uh, set and these small small targets in one day, I usually 3-4 to four targets in a day so that's, that has helped me a lot because within 30 minutes I target to finish around like 3-4 questions and I try to finish those questions as much as possible within those 30 minutes and those 3-4 targets in a day help me to study many questions in a day so that has been really helpful for me. One advice to even to my juniors uh, listening to this would also be don't not, not only depend or uh, don't depend on the teachers every time for your notes or, or every kind of uh, study materials everything we can even maintain we can even prepare our own study materials and when we do that when we do something of our own uh, we usually while even start going through while studying it usually becomes pretty easier when we uh, when we bring up a, a note notes or by ourselves and when we go through it it becomes pretty easier so my study suggestion would also be that to prepare your own notes apart from the teacher's notes and uh, for the textbook uh, as long as uh, we are concerned with NCRT class 10, 11, 12 and also I think uh, many of us we usually we don't understand our books we even though we go through we don't understand so we start referring other books but what I suggest is our textbook what we have is enough uh, even though in the first reading we find it hard if we go through again and again we will realize and then we will understand that what everything we need is actually inside the book. Whatever we need, whatever we need to study, whatever we need to know, everything, it's actually inside the book. We don't need to refer any other books. So our books that we have, the NCRT books, those are just the best for class 10, 11, 12.
um, I'm actually planning to uh, give some exams for need exams. So, yeah, I'm preparing for need exams and uh, yeah, that's what I'm planning for because I want to aim for MBBS. So let's hope for the best. Okay, so maths uh, as a subject, I think the most important to be, to will be to pay attention while the teacher is explaining inside the classroom because maths, mathematics is a subject like once you understand one question, the other question also it's, it's just the same manner. So understand the uh, technique and pay, uh, be attentive inside the classroom. Then while practicing, while going for revision or while studying, it becomes pretty easier. No, actually, I have never taken any tuition nor coaching. So, like, what I believe is, uh, our teachers are there at school who teaches us every who teaches us every day, almost uh, in our school days. So, whatever they teach us, that is enough. Uh, like, uh, if we pay attention to what they are teaching, I don't think we all no one needs any kind of tuition or uh, coaching or anything because, like, whatever they teach us, they also they teach us what is in the book. So, that is enough. Paying attention to teachers, I think that is the best. Okay, so the first message for my juniors will be, believe in yourself, uh, nothing is impossible. We all have the ability to do it. We just have to know how to utilize our ability. And to my teachers, a very big thank you and uh, for always supporting me, who, uh, even to the teachers who have never taught me any particular subject, but have encouraged me in every part of my life, have encouraged me to work hard, and the teachers who have taught me very well, they are, I think, the best teachers I've ever met for teaching me so well, for believing in me, and for everything. Whatever I am today, whatever knowledge I've gained, it's because of the teachers. So, thank you to the teachers.